guys, welcome back. Okay, I am at the River Sport in Oklahoma City that they're hosting the ICF Super Cup, which is uh, an international uh, competition for uh, rowing, water rafting, canoeing, and sprint canoeing and extreme slalom. I think it just started. Ooh, great. Okay, so let me show you. There's a there's a there's a, a competition that is, that is going to be debuting in Paris 2024 for the Summer Olympics. National athletes here, um, Europe, and, uh, Canada, and South Africa. Yeah. Well, it's so great to see everyone out tonight. This really is a historic event for us here at Alpha Marina. We've done a lot of things in the last 15 or 20 years, but nothing quite like this. And we are so pleased to have all these incredible athletes. What's up guys, it's day two of the um, ICF Super Cup uh, uh, competition or tournament you can say. Um, I was here yesterday and I got some, I did some, a little bit of recording yesterday. Um, it was the uh, ACA uh, Extreme Slalom, which is a new competition that's coming in for the uh, Paris Summer Olympics Olympic Games in 2024. It's pretty. Uh, it's, it was pretty interesting uh, how they start the race. It's like they they're on the they're on the bridge, and then they had to be on like this platform and they like drop down and go. Um, if you seen, if you watch um, like the giant slalom in, in the Winter Olympics or just uh, ski ski uh, competition or international, uh, it's kind of like that. But with, um, with um, a paddle and, and canoe. Uh, so right now I'm actually um, sitting, I'm just waiting for the ICF competition to begin. Uh, right now uh, there's some international athletes from, that are just, uh, just getting a feel of the water and paddling around for the race to begin. Um, they are, there's 18 different countries. Most of them, I believe, are European countries, and USA is included in that. And like Canada and South Africa and some other uh, countries as well. And give me like a glimpse on of the athletes. So there's one here from USA. Looks like USA's men. Alright, so right now they're telling the athletes that the race is about to begin and they have to get back to the starting line for the race. And they're telling the, the teams what lanes they are, like, like just like Olympics. Like USA can be in lane 1 or lane 2 or lane 3 or lane 4 or lane 5. Um, or another country like uh, like Canada or uh, Sweden or Finland, they can be in other lanes as well. And yeah, so right now we're just chilling and getting ready for the race. See you guys in a little bit and I'll just uh, 
is some footage of them practicing their speed canoeing strokes. Two finishers will advance to the semifinals. The other team will win the quarterfinals. In this first team, lane number one from France, Eugene Grange Claude. Eighth in the C1 200 meters in the 2021 European Championship. In lane number two, the world and Olympic champion is Nevin Harrison. In lane three from Ukraine, Anastasia Jetberakova. United States in lane four is Sarah Grady. She is 17 years old, a seven-time U.S. national champion. How about the start? Go, Nevin! Nevin's in second place. Girl, girl on lane one. Get the first two spots automatically go to the semifinals. Moving up in lane three now is to Eric Maricoma. Still, still, the round for France. 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 Harris is from the United States. States. And better call that in Brady in the United States. Brady now Brady making a bit of a move. Yeah. Actually, that's a chip better call that. In lane three. So, usually on the team, you're not going to try as hard as they're going to be in the uh, semi final and final. Just like a. Ooh, she's going to be tied for that second automatic qualifying position. Ola Harrison now showing the kick and won her the Olympic medal in the 200 meters. And she now has gone clear of the Range Clore. Jet Barakova, as she approaches the start finish line, it looks like Jet Barakova and Harrison will advance to the semifinal. Good job. Number one. And I think is, if you see my swimming, uh, track there are like um, um, you don't have to you have to go as hard really you don't have to go as really hard to get like a to get a spot um, that he is basically trying to find um, like a good uh, spot for your for your semi final final um, just like swimming where Second, you might get the fourth lane, or first, you get the fourth or fifth lane um, in swimming. In heat number two of the women's C1 350, in lane one from Germany, Elisabeth Greitz finished fifth in the C2 200 meter 2019, or 2019 Junior U23 European Championship. She's 18 years old, first time in the United States. In lane number two is the 13-time world champion from Canada, Laurence Vincent Laplan. In lane three from Chile, she won the portage earlier today, Maria Maillard from Chile. And in lane number four from the United States, Emma Albrecht. And they are off. Wow, it looks like a great start USA from Chile. USA and Chile is in the neck and neck. So far away, but Chile's definitely in the lead, lead now. Uh, on her right, looks like Laurence is sitting comfortably in second. 45.77 to 45.79. And our third paddler in this heat from Canada, Katie Vincent, bronze medalist in the C2 500 meter in Tokyo. Seven total world championships. And one of the big reasons that women's canoe was in the Olympics in Tokyo. By the way, Luzon is the current European champion. 200 meters. Again, the top two finishers will advance to the semifinals and they are off. Last clean start from Canada. You playing right next to her. Again, you want to be in that top two. Save yourself. 350 meters is quite a long way when you're used to racing 200. So, 
Let's see how this goes. Let's talk about Katie Vincent for just a moment. I mean, a great lobbyist to get women's canoe into the Olympics, and she takes a medal at the, at the games. It just has to be. Lane four, Casper, Casper. They're all right together. And heat two, the men's C1 underway with another clean start. Yeah, we've got young Gavin Ross out of Washington in lane four. Here's some behind the scenes stuff. They're doing some, uh, like, uh, um, I don't know, it's supposed to be, I heard it's supposed to be on the Olympic channel, so I don't know if this is Olympic, or the Olympic channel or not, but here's some behind the scenes stuff. Because I read it's supposed to be on the Olympic right, channel. guys, so right now we're, we're 30 minutes away to watch the final of uh, the ICF Super Cup. And, so there should be some good tight races in a little bit. And it's been pretty chill. Um, watching several heats and like a um, four final and then in some semi finals and then okay took a break and we watched there's some we, there was a kids race on the lake. Or a river. Look on the Oklahoma River. That was fun. There was a lot of crashes, hitting boats, other boats, and 
Hopefully it gets exciting at the final. It's been pretty chill. So. That's that, and I'll see you guys uh, at 8 o'clock for the finals. Um, there's a lot, there's quite a few people out. I'll so show you right, right behind me. There's people there, it goes all the way around there. There's top, wait, top there. There's there. And then some athletes, European athletes, and stuff like that. And now they're getting ready to, we're getting ready for the finals, so they're putting.
Thank <laughs> you. 